In this video, I'm going to demonstrate the month end process for reconciling your supplier statements or your vendor statements. Now, there's two methods. We can use aged accounts payable or we can use ledger entries. I'm going to show you both in this video and you can pick which method you want to use. So to start with, we're going to use aged accounts payable. So to access this, you click the search button in the top right hand corner and search for aged accounts payable. Once here, you need, there are a few options you need to fill in. Um, you can age it by a due date or posting date. I tend to leave this as due date and then just set the aged of as the end of the month. Um, depending on how you want this set up, just play with these options till you get comfortable. The period length would be one month. This you need to tick, this print details, otherwise you're just going to get the total balance. And then I like to tick the new page per vendor. And what we're not going to do is preview or print this. We're going to send it straight to Excel. So you need to select send to Excel document. And we'll just open this file and you'll see what we get. So this is the Excel document that you'll see. I'll just shrink it down to size. So you've got all the suppliers along the bottom here. So it's actually put each supplier on a separate tab. And you can see the posting date, the due date, and then you'll have the aged band. So you can see what's due at the end of which particular month. Um, and you can use this, you print this off and you can just reconcile it. Uh, you can use the printout to reconcile it or you can actually do it within Excel. If you get any long uh, external document numbers, um, if you just simply just drag this out, it will drop it back down to one line. And then if you want to print this off, if you select print, you want to use the scaling fit sheet, uh, fit all columns on one page. And then it doesn't matter how wide the document is, it's going to fit it on one page for you, ready to print out. So that's how you use the aged accounts payable. The second method is to use the ledger entries. So to use the ledger entries, you need to go purchasing vendors. You need to find the vendor that you want to um, reconcile. In this case, we'll use this one as an example. Select process ledger entries. Now you're going to be presented with lots of columns here. Now this is down to you to disable, enable the disable and enable the columns that you want to see on this report. So to do this, you right click on one of these headers and select choose columns. Then you can simply just disable and enable the, the columns that you want to export to Excel. Now the first time you customize the columns, you have to close this window and then reopen the window. Otherwise the export to Excel won't work. So what I can do from here, I can. there's a button at the top called open in Excel. And this is gonna produce a download in Excel for me. So this is now what I have from Excel. And then what I can do from here is start custom start filtering the due date so if i only want to see the documents that are due in october for example i can do and then i can print this off so very flexible both ways work the ledger entries give you a more detailed view where the aged accounts payable is just good for a quick reconciliation so i hope that helps if you've got any questions please let me know thank you